Right, little peaches. Since your parents have left me in charge as the babysitter, I thought I would tell you a bedtime story. Wait a minute. I'm here too. Yes, Diego, but only one of us has real experience as a parent. Sid, you were never a parent. What's two? Those weren't even your kids. They were dinosaur eggs. So? Their real mother almost chomped you. Anyways, once upon a time, while your parents were waiting for the special day for you to be born, actually, your mother and I and your Uncle Diego here were waiting. Your father was freaking out. Yes, yes, he was. But he did have the idea to surprise Ellie with a great present in honor of your arrival. And good thing, too, because he was making Ellie nervous. You should never make a mama mammoth nervous. So he got me and your uncle's crash and Eddie to scout around and find the crystals he needed. But we'd have to do it all in secret. Yeah, but first they had to wake you up. That was the hard part. <laughs> it's Sid. You think he's awake, Eddie? Awake means eyes open, Crash. Ah. Is that a sloth with four toes? Four toes! Ah, who? What, what, four toes? Sid, glad you're up. We need some help. We need you to distract Ellie so we can sneak out. This is a top secret mission. Secret mission? Roger! I'm Eddie. Shh, come on, mammals. We're sneaking here. This is the perfect moment to distract Ellie. Keep Ellie talking so we can sneak by. Hey, Sid. You're awake. Is it noon already? <laughs> uh, that's a good one. Uh, say, Ellie, does, does the sun feel any warmer to you? Huh? Uh, not really. Why? Are you sure? Because you gotta really let it soak in. Sid, my eyes are stinging. Good, good. That means it's working. Psst, Sid, come on. outstanding swathy service in the field of sneakiness we salute you now to find a baby gift for Ellie what wait a minute that's a secret mission <laughs> slap that shrub and see what it's got Let's try over here. Sid, follow us.
Right behind you. Ooh, look! A perfect gift! Sid, you gotta get that crystal! Guys, I'm a sloth. We're not known for our physical prowess. Yes, but you're a tree sloth. Ah, then uh, make way for the expert! guys know what goes best with crystals? Parmesan? Nope. More crystals. I saw some through that passage. Cross over the tree and explore away. Uh, are you sure this tree is solid? <laughs> Walking on it's the best way to find out. Good luck. Try your hand and slam it. Or your belly. Over here, Sid. down more bushes. Yeah, not angry rabbit beavers. Oh! We'll be right behind you. Bad beaver, bad, bad beaver. You are on fire! Yeah, but right now we gotta get past that boulder! Oh wait, let me guess. You want me to move it with that stick? Sid! You are on fire! I'm on my way. For 
Hurry up, Sid. The rock's not gonna move itself. Sid, follow us. What we need is some fun. <laughs> on the mushrooms to reach the fire. Careful, don't bounce off the mushrooms. <laughs> Smoke this slot. <laughs> Get back down here by sliding on that ice. Oh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> 
Today's your lucky day, boys. Have I got an offer for you, and you, and what an offer I got for you. Not now, Tony. We are on a mission. Sure, sure, sure. Yeah, but you're gonna need supplies. I got your fruits, your gadgets, the whole shebang. Well, I've never even seen half a shebang. How do you even keep a whole shebang in this weather? Talk fast, fast, Tony. Listen up and I'll tell you how you, yes, you can buy items anywhere in the world. Hey there, welcome to the Trade Shack, Jack. Good choice! Fast Tony likes what you did there. You got the basics down already, huh? Fast Tony likes a quick learner. Sid, let's go! Collect them berries and trade them for anything in the shop. Nobody important. Hey, speak for yourself. Oops. Well, whoever you are, you'll have to get past us first. Okay, Sid. You heard him. How can Sid survive? Against such <laughs> incredible odds. Watch out, mole hogs. Here comes the spinster. <laughs> You're not done yet. <laughs> you think we're the only mole hogs around here? You have defeated the last of the Mohawks, but now your destiny lies to the north. Pass that boulder. Take this stick and... And? Use it to clear the big rock. Sweet stick. Now use it to open up this icy passage. Look, look, look. 
Take her eyes off that crystal. Assuming her eyes are open. Guys, let me get it. You sure about that? Oh, yeah. I got it. I got it. I... Ah! <laughs> Help! Should we do anything? Ah! He'll be fine. Hey, ah! home. Ow! <clears throat> wow. Another crystal. Hey, sis. Bet you weren't expecting that. Courtesy of Air Sloth. Thanks, guys. You're really taking her mind off her swollen ankles. I heard there's another crystal by the edge of the cliff. We found another crystal, but it's stuck up on a ledge. But that's no big deal, because it's being guarded by birds. Nerds? Birds, you nerd!
will crash. Push on it. Come on, Crystal. If that even is your real name. You ever seen such a perfect crystal? You should feel good about yourself for getting. You know, I do feel good. I feel really. Brothers with love. You guys spoil me. Yeah, almost makes up for all the other junk they do. Okay, it does. Doesn't anybody want to spoil me? Well, little peaches, one of the ways your papa stayed out of your mama's way, I, your, I mean, kept himself busy <laughs> while he was waiting for you to be born, was to work on these little surprises. One of them was a playground for you. But there was too much to do, so he asked me, your Uncle Sid, for a little help. In retrospect, your Uncle Sid probably wasn't the best choice. Shh. Hey, Sid, really appreciate you lending a paw here. You see, I built this awesome playground, but my kid's coming any day now, and I need to baby-proof the place. Look at this, the only game our kid can play here is Daddy Brings You to the Doctor. I hear you. Now, what can Uncle Sid do for you? Well, let's see. You can pad those sharp, eye-poking-out rocks with leaves. You can put mud on those sharp rocks over there. Oh, yeah, and you could melt the sharp icicles in the cave. No, now those are a hazard. Yeah, but not everybody thinks so. They may try and stop you. Stop me? The child safeinator? Bring him on. The kids will love this playground.
That looks nice and coded to me. Come on, hurry it up, Sid. Ellie's on the way, and our baby's not far behind. <laughs> to throw these leaves over the rocks. Time to go melt those icicles. It's kind of chilly in here. from melting these icicles.
all the icicles melted. What's next? Now it's like a big bed for sleepy heads. have leaves on them. What should I do next? Wow, Sid! You actually did it! Now all that's left is for me to uproot those tree stumps. Ah, the playground looks safer already! Whoa, 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 what was that? Too bad we didn't call and frank proof the playground. But hey, I couldn't move those large rocks earlier. But maybe they can. I got an idea. Uh, does this idea include me? If you can get on one of their backs, you can guide them into the rocks. This is what happens when I wake up before noon. Let's see if rhinos eat mud balls. <laughs> Thanks for your help, my rhino friend. I'm never, ever doing this again.
Hit the playground, not the ground ground. Oh, this playground. It's amazing. The baby loves it. Well, then the baby will really love this. An ice mobile. The baby thinks you're the best dad ever. Wow! And where did you get all the energy to baby proof wow. this place? <laughs> hey, is it okay? Oh, he's probably just shocked that we're nowhere to be found on your special family ice mobile. <laughs> 